This is the Ugreen NAS Sync DXP4800 Plus, a cost efficient storage solution. Ugreen is trying to change the way that you would use a NAS for your home theater as well as for backing up your important data. And they've done this by implementing a built in movie server and automatic sync. This means that you can easily consume any movies and media you own with practically any device and anywhere in the world. On top of that, they do also support Plex, MB, and Jellyfin servers for those that already have them. This NAS can also automatically back up and sync your computer files as well as your phone photos so you don't have to worry about losing your memories or important data. In fact, it can even automatically categorize those photos for you. But the best part is how easy and cost effective this storage solution is. And for those of you that do not know, backing up your data is extremely important. So important, they created an entire day about it. That's right, the World Backup Day is coming up and this is the Ugreen DXP4800+. Plus. It works a lot like a cloud storage, but instead of storing it in the cloud, it lets you use your own hard drives. And by doing this, the storage costs end up being significantly cheaper in the long run versus something like a cloud storage. This is especially true when you're backing up all of your movies like I do. Now, this is not my first NAS, but I will say that this has been the easiest NAS that I have ever used to set up. And the only NAS that I have used that I would recommend someone who has never used one before. When you unbox the DXP4800 Plus, you're going to see that it does have four hard drive bays. Now, this is where you're going to install your hard drives. You can install up to 112 terabytes. That's crazy. That means you could store up to 875 worth of iPhone's data in here. Although, <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to install all of it at once, but you will want to install at least two hard drives to begin with. Now, once you have your hard drives, installing them is easy. You just push the button down here and the hard drive holder pops out. You can expand the holder by using this tab. And once you have that hard drive lined up, you just slide it back together and then slide it into Ugreen. And that's it. The hard drive is installed. Now, I said you'll want to install at least two hard drives, and that's due to data redundancy. Or in other words, if one hard drive should fail, you can replace it without worrying about losing any data. But don't worry about understanding all of that. This NAS will help you walk through that. Now that we have our hard drives installed, it's time to plug up a network cable to our router. It does need to be hardwired as this is how you're going to access your data anywhere in the world. Don't worry, I'll show you a little bit more about that later. Now just plug in the power cord, power it on, and go to this website. And this is where things go really exciting for me. Now this isn't my first NAS, and for those that are not technologically inclined, setting one of these up can be very frustrating and overwhelming. But Ugreen has made it so simple to set up. It walks you right through everything. It even helps you pick out the RAID setup for your data redundancy. And this is where it really separates itself from other NASs I've had. I would have no problem handing this to someone and thinking that they could set this up, as long as they read the on-screen instructions. Even after all the drives were initialized and set up, Ugreen continues to walk you through the operating system. The operating system is almost a blend of Windows and Android, making it very familiar to work in, and it makes adding data to it really simple. If you're adding data from the computer, you can just download the Ugreen app and just drag and drop files into whatever folder you want. You can even set it up to automatically sync and backup your computer. By selecting this sync and backup folder, you just click the sync button and it'll walk you through all of the options. This even allows you to back up just certain folders if that's all you want to do. This is pretty easy, but it's even easier on your phone. Once again, just download the app on your phone and click Backup and Sync. This can automatically sync your photos to the Ugreen so that you never lose any of your pictures. And that's important because as we all know, accidents with phones are far too common and random. So knowing you won't lose out on those precious memories, even if your phone hits its untimely demise, is a great peace of mind. I know, because I've been there, and I've done that a few times. But what I found even cooler was how it auto-categorized the pictures. If I go to album, it created an album based on location, one for video, and one for people. It's important to note that I didn't create these. It automatically did this for me. The best part is I can go right into my photos 
and name the people. Anytime a new picture is backed up, it will automatically add them here. This was something that I was not expecting, and I'll admit, I really like. Now, I've never used my NAS for the, this type of feature, or backed up my phone for that matter, until now. I set up the auto backup, and it does the rest for me. And speaking of that, I actually need to add my wife's phone to this. Anyway, the reason I use my NAS is for media backup and consumption. I use Make MKV and I back up all of my movies in full audio and video resolution. This means I never have to worry about the dreaded Warner Brothers disc rot. No. Or my kids breaking or scratching the discs. Instead, I back up all of my video files. Now, I typically use a Plex server to watch these anywhere I am in the world. This does have built-in features that allow for a Plex, MV, or even Jellyfin servers, but they aren't necessary. Instead, Ugreen has added their own video center to their NAS, and I really wanted to try this out. So I added a few movies by dragging and dropping them into the movies folder, and I also downloaded the Ugreen app on my NVIDIA Shield. And this is what I found out. It's actually quite nice. With the use of TMBD, it found the data for these movies, added their title, the posters, uh, told me who all the actors were, and even created collections, something that I usually have to do manually in Plex. You can even use the search function and select an actor to see all the movies they are in, at least the ones that you own. And on the Shield app, it lets you easily identify the resolution and the audio codec. I mean, it's really nice. This does support online subtitle playback as well, as a way to download the subtitles that you need. And if you can't find those subtitles, you can just go to the search bar and search for the movie that you're wanting to download them for. We even watched a few movies that had no issues with stuttering or lag. Now, if you want to watch those outside of the network, Ugreen does give you ways to access that data remotely. You can go to the Ugreen website that is specific to your device, or you can even use the app on your phone. With these, you can watch your movies anywhere you are, assuming you have access to data. Having said that, the video center isn't perfect yet. I cannot always get it to find the movie information, and with something like Plex, it does allow me to search for the movie in the database so I can properly identify it. This doesn't have that feature, at least not yet. You can, however, manually enter the data if you want to, but that takes time. And there might be uh, some ways for you to rename the file to get that information, but I just, I haven't personally figured that out yet. Also, the subtitles always start. Uh, I can shut them off, but I haven't found a setting to keep them from auto displaying. Now, what I will say though, is that I hope that Ugreen continues to improve this feature to get those implemented in the future. Because if they do, I prefer the simplicity of this over my current Plex server. Now for those, more advanced users, you can go to the App Center and even the Docker to install more in-depth solutions for you. However, I'm not going to talk about those in this video, but I do want to take a quick note of their security center. Keeping your data backed up is only part of safety. You also want to make sure that it's not easily accessible. Ugreen does offer security settings that you can control to set the level of safety that you desire. The Ugreen NAS Sync 4800 Plus has absolutely changed the way that I back up my data, especially my phone, especially since I've rarely backed up my data, and that's probably the most important that I should be backing up. But it's changed it so much that I plan to move all of my data from my current NAS to this one, including all of my movies. This one is just much easier to use and honestly a lot faster than my older NAS. Now, in order to honor the entire day dedicated to backing up data, Ugreen is going to give you 20% off. Now, if you're not currently backing up your data, follow the link in the description to get yourself 20% off your NAS system. This is Toyd, and I'm out.